Hello, welcome. 1 over C plus 1 over D equal to 1 over 13. How do we solve for C plus D? Solution. The first step we are going to take is to multiply both sides by C, D. Multiply both sides by C, D. Doing that, we are going to have C, D times 1 over C plus 1 over D equal to C, D times 1 over 13. C, D times 1 over C, that is C, D over C plus C, D times 1 over D, that is C, D over D equal to C, D over 13. Clearly, C cancels C. Also, D cancels D. We are left with D plus C equal to C, D over 13. The second step we are going to take now is to multiply both sides by 13. Multiply both sides by 13. We have 13 times D plus C equal to 13 times C, D over 13. 13 times D, that is 13D, plus 13 times C, that is 13C, equal to 13 cancels 13, we are left with CD. This implies that CD minus 13C minus 13D equal to 0. When we transfer each of these guys to the right side. Now, let us add and subtract. 169 to this left hand side we are going to have cd minus 13c minus 13d plus 169 minus 169 equals to zero nothing has changed because 169 minus 169 gives zero we can put these two guys in brackets so we are going to have cd minus 13c now let us consider these two guys if we try to pull out negative sign, we are going to have minus into 13D minus 169 minus 169 equal to 0. Let's proceed further. What do you notice here? You will notice that we can pull out C from these guys. So we are going to have C into D minus 13. Also, we can pull out 13 from these two guys. So we are going to have minus 13 into D minus 13 minus 169 equal to 0. This implies that C times D minus 13 minus 13 times D minus 13 is equal to 169. When this guy comes to the right side, this implies that we have D minus 13 here, likewise D minus 13 here. So we are going to have D minus 13 times C minus 13 equal to 169. Now, let us focus our attention on 169. 169 could be written as 1 times 169. We can also write 169 as 169 times 1. It is also possible to write 169 as 13 times 13. That means we are going to consider each of these cases. Let's call this case 1. Let's call this case 2. And this one, case 3. For case 1, 169 is equal to 1 times 169. That means we are going to replace this 169 with 1 times 169. From this line, we are going to have D minus 13 times C minus 13 equal to, instead of writing 169, we are going to write this guy, 1 times 169. This implies that this guy goes to this and this guy goes to this. So, D minus 13 is equal to 1 and C minus 13 is equal to 169. From this line, this implies that D is equal to 1 plus 13 
when negative 13 comes to the right side, that means our d is equals to what? That is 14. d is 14. Likewise here, c is equals to 169 plus 13. When negative 13 comes to the right side, this is equal to 169 plus 13, that is simply 182. Therefore, c is equals to 182 and d is equals to what? 14. But our aim is to find c plus d. So what is c? c is 182, 182 plus d is what? That is 14 equal to 182 plus 14, that is simply 196. That means the first solution is c plus d equal to 196. That's for case 1. Take note of this. Now, for case 2, what do we have? We have 169 to be equal to 169 times 1. That means we are going to replace this 169 with this guy. Let's continue. For case 2, 169 is equal to 169 times 1. This implies that d minus 13 times c minus 13 is equal to 169 times 1. By comparing, this guy go to this and c minus 13 goes to 1. So we have d minus 13 equal to 169 and c minus 13 equal to 1. From this line, d is equal to 169 plus 13 which equals to 182. Likewise here, C is equals to 1 plus 13. This equals to 14. That means our C is equals to 14 and our D is equals to 182. But our aim is to find C plus D. This equals to 14 plus 182 which in turn gives 196. That means C plus D is equals to 196. This is another solution. Now let us consider the third case for case 3. We have 169 to be equals to 13 times 13. From this guy, Case 3 is 169 equals to 13 times 13. That means we are going to replace this 169 with 13 times 13. Let us continue. D minus 13 times C minus 13 is equals to 13 times 13. By comparing, this guy go to 13. C minus 13 also go to the 13. So we have D minus 13 equal to 13. And C minus 13 equal to 13. From this line, D is equal to 13 plus 13, which in turn gives 26. Likewise, from this line, C is equal to 13 plus 13, which in turn gives what? 26. Thus, the third solution, that is the third case, C plus D is equal to our C is 26 plus our d is also 26 this gives 52 c plus d is equals to 52 this is the third solution therefore the two distinct solutions that we have are c plus d equal to 196 and c plus d equal to 52 this is the required solution. That's it. Thanks for watching.